okay, well, I should stop playing uh, after this game because we don't know what's going on with the medical situation. Day 11. Day 11. Woo! We're going to leave Williamson. Yep. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Two and a half hour drive to Callahan County. And which is? In the hill, my hometown. Ah! Oh, wow. This is like a mile of coal. Home. My home. How does it feel? Yeah. It's good. It's exactly the same. It's just like this place doesn't change. Brendan's childhood piano. And Brendan's mom. <laughs> and I get to eat vegetables. Oh my god. Look at all of these beautiful Thank vegetables. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah, the whole day we spent like kind of chilling in the end and yep. we walked around a little bit. Yep. And we were like shocked at all the empty houses. Yeah, the town's intense. It feels kind of like parts of Detroit where like it was a big industrial center. It was a big coal town and uh, you know, the population's a third of what it was in like the 50s and 60s. Yeah, and um, Jim was telling me while we were drinking about this one guy in Williamson that owns like 50 to 60 percent of the buildings and how he's like a pharmaceutical giant and his net worth is millions and millions of dollars. And he also owns property in Charleston and the Charleston property appreciates and as a tax break he needs the Williamson property. He needs the Williamson property to depreciate. Um, so it's like, it's really awful that he, on purpose, is hanging out to all these buildings. These people can't do anything in these buildings. Right. Like the Arborgade would love to have a home and have a performance space and whatnot, but it's just like almost impossible. And so this one guy controls Williamson and it's demise and it's just like, that's so fucked up. Right? Yep. And, but yet, like, there are these people who love the arts and, like, trying to bring positive things through yep. the town. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like the, the kind of the more intense the situation uh, and the kind of crazier the conditions in, in these towns are, like, the more people are, like, digging in and, like, really trying to create something. Yeah. How many people live in Grantsville? Um, it is 548. 548. What about this town? This isn't really a town. This is unincorporated. Yeah, technically, I don't even know. I mean, Mount Zion has. I have no idea. This, this road has maybe like 10 or 15 people living on it. Tutor. Tutor. Wait, we got a tutor's? I didn't used to be there. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, moving up in the world. Like, this used to be like nothing. Ah! Oh, no. What's that? Fine. My phone. Oh, okay. Oh, this is it? Yep. Ah. Yeah, over here. I've known Jude since I was about five. Um, and I took classes on like visual art, movement, and dance, and mask making at Hartwood from the ages of five to 13. She works in like a pretty crazy number of media at like a very, very high level. She includes like dance and classical ballet and a bunch of other styles, kind of dance physiology, as well as like tarlatan, mask making, costume design, um, wood carving, which is like her work in wood carving is incredible. Uh, mime and clowning, and then probably other things I don't know about. <clears throat> How does it feel being back? Ah, it's really nice. Hartwood is great. One other big thing about Jude's work for me is that she's very conscious of how what she makes is gonna exist in the world. Just meaning like who's gonna see it, what kind of effect it's gonna have. Uh, you know, like one of the big things we do every year as students at Hartwood was uh, we'd participate in like a big parade through the nearest town kind of every summer as part of this big county festival. Um, you know, so this would be like uh, between like 50 and 100 people in masks and costumes performing to music and like walking, marching and like dancing 
through the middle of this small town in rural West Virginia, like Grantsville. And uh, I don't know, there's, there's like something about that that I just love because it's, it's kind of imagining another world and then it's bringing some elements from like this other world into our, our current world. And it's like breaking open the boundaries of, of reality for this little moment so that people can get a little glimpse of something else um, or can connect to other people in ways that they didn't know they could. And if there's anything I'm, I would like aspire to do in my own work, it's basically that. Solitude of Grantsville. I like. I I like that it's small, and people know each other. But but sometimes a blessing is a curse as well because we have to go so far to get things, and there are no amenities here really to speak of. So. Um, do you do you feel like you see your friends often? Um. Is it like is it hard for people to get together unless they? It's, it is hard to get together. I think that people, and I, I suppose that's anywhere today, people are just very busy with their own, own things. So it's nice when there's an occasion like this to get together. Happened in a concert of mine before. ambulance came and then the ambulance got stuck in the ditch so it's not clear that people can leave what a night yeah. Jude, how do you feel about tonight? Oh, all of this. Yeah. How do you feel about all of this? I love this. I love this. <laughs> what could be more fortunate than an ambulance being stuck in the road? <laughs> and all these people have to stay. We have to stay. Yeah. <laughs> this is hard. I don't know why it's such a problem. <laughs> I love it. Tell me about what's happening right now. <laughs> an ambulance came for the lady who had the heart attack, kind of. Kind of. My screw out then. <laughs> and then the ambulance got stuck in the ditch. <laughs> yep. And the grass Police and uh, fire department is here to rescue them yep. out of the ditch. Hi. 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 Hey, little girl. Bye. 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 Have a great night. Jude, what did you like about the concert? The music. <laughs> Any specific part of it? Um, I love watching your hands and your arms and your spine is so beautiful. Oh, really? And long and you're very elegant oh. and but you share yourself in a very unique way with the elegance and everything so oh. it's yeah. I just had a wonderful time we're in the basement <laughs> I 
All right. You try it. Let's do this. It's very sweet.